For years, NVIDIA's grip on AI has seemed unbreakable. Its GPU chips power everything from supercomputers to the cutting edge of a deep learning. But now, Apple claims to have built the world's most powerful AI chip, upending an entire industry overnight. Is this just hype, or could NVIDIA's empire actually fall? The answer may reshape the future of every device you own. Inside the world's largest data centers, NVIDIA hardware forms the backbone of modern artificial intelligence. Rows of H100 and A100 graphics processing units anchor the most powerful AI clusters on the planet, driving breakthroughs in large language models, image recognition, and scientific discovery. These are not just graphics cards. They are the engines of a trillion-dollar transformation. Enterprises and research labs do not just buy chips. They invest in entire racks preloaded with NVIDIA's turnkey systems, each one tuned for maximum throughput and reliability. In the cloud, NVIDIA's architecture is the default. Every major provider, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google, builds their AI offerings around these graphics processing units. The software ecosystem is just as entrenched. CUDA, NVIDIA's proprietary programming platform, has become the universal language for AI development, locking in a generation of engineers and researchers. For years, the message has been clear. If you want to build or deploy serious AI at scale, you start with NVIDIA. The moat is wide and the walls are high. Apple's Silicon journey began far from the data center, inside the first iPhones. By 2017, the A11 Bionic chip introduced a dedicated neural engine, a small specialized block designed to accelerate machine learning tasks like Face ID and photo enhancement. While NVIDIA was scaling up for the cloud, Apple quietly packed AI acceleration into devices that fit in a pocket. Each year, the neural engine grew more capable, handling trillions of operations per second with minimal power draw. The leap from A-series to M-series brought these innovations to the Mac, combining CPU, GPU, and the neural engine on a single chip. Unified memory meant every part of the system could access the same data pool instantly, eliminating the bottlenecks that slow down traditional personal computers. This integrated approach wasn't just about speed, it made advanced AI features practical on laptops and tablets, running local, without draining the battery or sending data to the cloud. Apple's methodical, efficiency-first design has turned everyday devices into serious AI machines, challenging the idea that powerful intelligence only lives in sprawling server farms. Running AI on the device itself changes the rules. When a neural engine lives inside your phone or laptop, there is no waiting for the cloud to respond. Latency drops from hundreds of milliseconds to nearly instant, which means voice assistance, photo editing, and even real-time translation work without a hitch. Privacy takes center stage. Personal data never leaves the device, sidestepping the risks that come with sending information to distant servers. For many users, that is not just a technical detail, it is a promise. Energy efficiency also comes into play. Apple's chips are designed to deliver trillions of AI operations per second while sipping power, so features like live transcription or background image processing do not drain the battery. The scale is staggering. Billions of iPhones, iPads, and Macs, each one a potential AI endpoint. Instead of relying on a handful of massive data centers, Apple's approach puts advanced intelligence directly in the hands and pockets of everyday people. The battlefield is no longer just the cloud, it is everywhere. Performance numbers fly fast whenever a new chip claims the crown, but not all metrics measure the same thing. Apple touts trillions of operations per second, tops, as the headline figure for its neural engine, but that number reflects peak inference, not the full spectrum of AI work. For raw training power, Nvidia's H100 posts eye-watering petaflops, a different class of compute altogether. Power efficiency is another battleground. Apple Silicon often leads in performance per watt, squeezing serious AI throughput into a fanless laptop, while NVIDIA's data center GPUs consume hundreds of watts to churn through massive models. Memory bandwidth sets the ceiling for model size and speed. Apple's unified memory architecture delivers hundreds of gigabytes per second, 
accessible by every part of the chip, while NVIDIA's GPUs leverage high bandwidth memory stacks to keep data flowing in multi-GPU clusters. And when analysts compare clusters, they look at aggregate floating point operations, FLOPs, across racks of machines, not just one chip. Each metric tells a different story. The real question is, which numbers matter most for the AI future, peak device site efficiency or brute force cloud muscle? Developers face a crossroads that has nothing to do with silicon and everything to do with code. For years, CUDA has been the backbone of AI software, with thousands of libraries, pre-tuned kernels, and a global community built around NVIDIA's playbook. Migrating a production pipeline to a new platform is not just a technical exercise. It is a logistical headache. Teams must audit every custom kernel, retrain models to match new numerical quirks, and rebuild workflows that took years to perfect. Even with Apple's conversion tools and frameworks like Core ML and MLX, the journey from CUDA to Metal or Apple's native stacks is measured in weeks or even months, not hours. Many practitioners now split the difference. They train on NVIDIA and they deploy on Apple, juggling hybrid code bases that double the maintenance burden. The real cost is not just in engineering hours. It is in lost momentum, the risk of bugs, and the uncertainty that comes with leaving a proven ecosystem. In this world, inertia is as powerful as innovation. The question is not just whose chip is faster, but whose code-based developers are willing to bet their careers on us. Right now, the AI race is wide open. Apple's challenge is real, but NVIDIA's dominance holds. In this new era, innovation moves faster than loyalty. The next disruption starts today.